The Air Metro 460F wireless bridge is specifically designed to transmit surveillance video data or other wireless data over long distances. Before installation, prepare necessary tools and materials. The Air Metro 460F wireless bridge can be mounted on a pole, align the mounting holes and pegs on the reflectors, and press down firmly to secure the pegs in place. Then, use the 4M3 screws to attach the reflectors securely together, with the side displaying the silkscreen as the front, and the spirit level on the antenna base facing upward, attach the antenna base to the back of the reflectors by aligning the joints of the reflectors into the slots on the antenna base. Then, secure the assembly on the front side using the remaining six screws. Take out the mounting bracket, ensuring the arrow signs face upward. Attach and secure the mounting bracket to the antenna base until you hear a click, indicating it is firmly in place. Take out the long bolt, the wing knob and the nut. Thread the long bolt through the center of the wing knob. Insert the nut into the rectangular slot on the side of the antenna base. Then, from the other side, insert the long bolt. Adjust the angle of the assembled reflectors, and securely tighten the bolt using the wing knob. Take out two hose clamps and loosen them with a screwdriver. Thread the hose clamps through the two gaps located at the bottom of the mounting bracket and then through the pole. Once in position, adjust the clamps to the desired height and tighten them securely using a screwdriver. Align the peg on the wireless bridge with the slot on the assembled reflectors. Securely tighten the wireless bridge in the direction indicated by the close sign. Use or make an Ethernet cable based on the distance between the wireless bridge and the power source. The device supports PoE power supply over CAT 5E or higher cables with a maximum length of 100 meters, 328 feet. As shown here, the waterproof connector consists of three parts, the cover, the plug, and the rotating shaft. Take out the waterproof connector and unscrew the cover to access the plug. Insert the Ethernet cable through the cover, the plug, and the rotating shaft in order. Connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on the wireless bridge. Then, attach the rotating shaft to the antenna base securely. Finally, tighten the cover to ensure a secure fit. Take out the passive PoE injector and connect it to the power cord. Connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to the PoE port of the passive PO injector. Next, connect the LAN port of the passive PoE injector to a server or camera using another Ethernet cable. Finally, plug the power cord into a 220V power socket for power supply. Wireless bridge must be powered using the supplied PO injector. Using other PO injectors or switches may result in irreparable damage to the wireless bridge. The installation is complete. Thank you for watching.